Hey all and welcome back for another Hellfire comms quick look. Today we're going to be taking a well, rather nippy look at uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4 for the PlayStation 4. And um, it's probably a safe bet to say we've missed a fair bit of lore and story between the quick look of the first game and the quick look of this one. This time I have Tanner with me. He's the, uh, the quick look dude from now on. We're going to play on easy. Well, normal. Opposite of easy. God, I'm just all fucked up. We haven't recorded quick look in a while. Can you tell? A little bit. Uh, from what I can tell, though, the Valkyrie Chronicles the games are not one continuous At story. Last. I think they're more like the Final Some Fantasy, where they take ideas from each other, but have different stories. I could be wrong about that. I've not that. myself played one. Okay. But from what I've got from, like, the osmosis from uh, my Twitter feed is that we're pretty good jumping in with this one. Yeah, it's funny. Like, I was just scrolling down Twitter just before this. A single tweet had the entire history of the franchise in it. It was like, what the hell? That's very convenient. That is incredibly convenient and well timed. Indeed. So uh, before we start, thank you, Gino, dude, for uh, commissioning this. Uh, I had a lot of fun with the uh, the first one when I was doing it with um, Carto. So I should roughly know what I'm doing here. We're gonna play through the tutorial, maybe get a regular mission in and whatnot. The ETA of about. <sighs> 30, 40 minutes, that should uh, give you the quick look and uh, essentially what uh, Valkyria Chronicles is all about. I really like the uh, the vignetting around the corner, making it look like, like a storybook picture. Oh yeah. It's really nice. Beautiful. Look at all these. Are these poppies or poses? Uh, they are flowers, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> hey, okay, a rare sight in Canada where you tell me it's minus 150 or some shit? It is, it is currently minus 35 outside, and with the wind chill, it goes down to minus 40. It is basically death. Okay. So looking at this wonderful nature here is quite nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got Claude and Raz here. I wouldn't take a nap so close to the barrel of a fucking tank, but, you know, I've never been a part of war. Simulated war, maybe. You know, I've served on the front line of Sonic Forces, but beyond that, who knows? Let's show those imps what's come to her. Yeah. Just two dudes chilling on a tank in the middle of, of a row of flowers with their awesome dog. I wish that was Missile. I wish every dog was Missile, now that Missile is no longer with us. Oh, yeah. One thing I do know is that um, if you bought this game on the Switch there, you got a, a Switch controller sticker that you can put on. Uh, that uh, can, has the dog on it with the dog's name. Do you want to know what the dog's name is? <sighs> Go ahead. Ragnarok. Wow. That's, I feel like that's a pretty tough name for a pretty small dog. It's okay, we've just been setting up Ragnarok. Everything's going according to plan, sir. You're not going to fire him at the enemy, are you? No. He's going to fire bullets at the enemy. I do like this way of like introducing all the characters and whatnot, instead of just like awkwardly going from scene to scene and like, hello, I am X and hello, I am Y. This is a good way, it's a good intro, I like it. So there was one bit of a big discussion point that I heard about this game that my friends were talking about that, well, it's like a really good war game for the tactical elements, the story does go very hard into, um, let's just say, Japanese tropes. There's a whole section about which commander has the cutest butt. Are we talking male or female? Female. Ah. With all the guys perving on them in hot springs and like, Oh, Japan, you are so silly. Alright, let's get some fucking gameplay going on here. You ever played a strategy game before, mate? Um, never of this variety, unless you count Mario and Rabbits. Uh, but I've not, I've not really played uh, anything of this nature. It's an interesting system, from what I remember seeing way back in the day. I remember watching a review of the first Valkyria Chronicles on my iPod video. I downloaded a video podcast of game reviews and saw it on there. I'm judging you. I'm judging you silently but violently. I wasn't allowed on YouTube, so what did I do? I just downloaded YouTube videos. Wow, talk about fucking and fucking the system. Right? Alright, remember the training. Actually, we'll just give you some training now. Why not? 
<sighs> Alright, tutorial, command mode. There might be a lot of this, so buckle in, Tana. I am ready. Uh, select the unit, okay. It's slightly coming back to me. Command mode and action mode. Yeah, there you go. Please give me controls, it has been a while. Selecting a unit switches them to action mode, where they can move and attack. Okay. Oh, I see. Alright. Got a bit of a, a gauge going on here. Uh, when they run out of AP, they'll be left unable to move. So that basically means get in, pip a few soldiers, and then get out. Don't leave yourself out in the open. Hmm, I see. That makes sense. Yeah. I will order him. Go, Raz, with the speed of light! Oh, he moves pretty quickly. He's a speedy boy. Yeah, there's another famous Raz that is uh, getting a new game sometime in 2019, maybe 2020. That is the f name of the fucking dude from uh, Psychonauts, right? Yes, you're right. Thank God, because I've never actually played Psychonauts, and I only know about the fucking thing from, like you said, pop culture osmosis. Yeah, d yeah, same here. It's I've heard everyone talk about it, and I've not actually even looked at it. Like, I tried playing it once, and I was like, eh, it's not for me. Also, wow, that dude went down fast. Yeah, we were right at her. Okay. Once per action, you may attack. No more, no less. You may smack the enemy once. Okay, press the big honking thingamabob in the middle. I got it. Now, I wonder if there's going to be something, if there, there'll be an incentive to not use up all of your action points if they get converted or, or brought Damn over. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure, mate. I can't break through this. Why not? You're invincible, right? She's the woman who is a basically a stoic person. You know, that old chestnut. She also shares the name with my sister, which is a bit strange. Wow. Did she sneak into video game wartime? Uh, yes. Yes, she does. <laughs> okay. Oh, shut up. Just hurry and take him out, will you? No, I guess she's in more of an advantageous position with a fucking sniper rifle. Kai has deployed. Uh, yeah. It's a good spot for a sniper to be. Mm -hmm. Gonna be uh, finding a lot of vantages for that. Specializes, well, don't need a tutorial to tell me what a sniper does, thank you very much. Uh, by moving, duh, up and down. You got it. Oh, you actually have to manually get headshots with her, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, steady. Steady. Easy, tiger. Did I even hit him? It kind of went past him, as it were. Looks like it looks like you just whiffed the front of his nose. <sighs> embarrassing. Frankly embarrassing. Are they gonna just give you another one to try it again? Yeah, it's like no, no, it's okay, you get another chance. Don't worry. It's a tutorial. Uh, uh, yeah. Second time's the charm! He just he, he was he had his uh, AirPods in. He didn't hear the first shot. There we go. And we turn and bada bang. Reload, jobs are gone. That's a very unfortunate term. I've seen it crop up in other games and I don't like it. And from YouTube. Don't say it, don't put it in the description, don't put it in the comments. I, I can't believe the algorithm went after Pokemon Go, like, video recorders and streamers and whatnot. Oh, and Club Penguin. Why the hell not? Let's just fucking throw Club Penguin in there while we're at it. Ridiculous. Uh, be mindful of your positioning before the- yeah, like I said, get in cover before you end your turn. Yes, I mean, this is like a more 3D and, uh, you know, free-roaming version of, like, a Fire Emblem there. Mm -hmm. Oh, except you don't get to fully see what's hap- oh, that's interesting. So, they move on the map, but you don't really get to see it until it's near your characters. Hmm. Well, it's unfortunate for them that I have a sniper, because, uh... I can, well, I can see him from a distance here, so... Is that it? Are they good? Yeah, because they're not within attacking range. Very nice. There's two little dudes. We can get them. Here we go. About time, Claude. This is the part where I roll in with the tank and whatnot. I just run over them all. 
Okay, Claude looks like an older Rex from Xenoblade, a little bit. He does, he really does. It's it's the, the way his hair is quaffed upwards. By the way, guys, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 playthrough later in 2019. Uh, Tanner and I are currently doing, um, well, at the time we're recording this, uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate The World of Light. After that, I feel we'll go back to uh, Spyro and uh, do the first game, and uh, after Kingdom Hearts 3 is done, then we'll move on to Xenoblade 2, because I don't want two RPGs on going at the same time. It's a bit much. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. I remember once I was playing three big RPGs at the same time, and I was like, no, that it, it doesn't work out well, especially because RPGs, the parts have to be, like, longer to get into it. Uh, yeah. Why not? Hopefully, I can zoom in from here. Sandbags. That's when you play really shittily to lull your uh, opponent into a false <laughs> sense of security. Just sandbag it, dude. Of course, sandbagging in terms of commentary and whatnot is the worst thing. Isn't that right, Tanner? So anyways, uh, they're showing us these game mechanics here. <laughs> Motherfucker, you absolute <laughs> dick. Anyway, I got a snippy sniper rifle here, so uh, let's go ahead and pop a few uh, fools. Yes, thank you. I'm already in sniper mode. They really want you to know. Why would you not go for headshots as a sniper anyway? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip past all this because yeah, I kinda get it, thank you. I feel like for sequels and whatnot, there should be a thing where it's like, oh, have you played this game before? Yeah, there you go. You can just skip past it. Well the nice thing is uh Metal Gear Solid had that or Metal Gear Solid 3 had that where you can choose at the beginning of the game, it gives you options of um, I'm new to Metal Gear, I liked Metal Gear Solid 1, or I liked Metal Gear Solid 2. And if it's like, if you said 2, they'll only show you new mechanics from 2 to 3. If you liked 1, they'll show you the new mechanics of 2 and 3. And if you didn't play any of them, it'll give you the full tutorial. There we go, it's just been a little bit awkward with the snapping too. Why is it not doing it? There we go. Oh, Q! She's gonna get fucking murdered, this is war after all. Yeah, it's like, look at these adorable anime characters, now watch them go into war and get horrible injuries as their guts spill out on the battlefield. Alright, hmm. Not the best position, but, uh, hey, whatever works. I'll need one more shot to kill him. Well, she can stay there, I'll move another character forward, it's fine. That should work out. They actually have a lot more movement than I thought. I think I might pick this up on the Switch, actually, because this kind of thing on the go is, like, really cool. We know you're there. Oh, are you gonna make it under? It's fine. I can hit him. But no, it's fine. I can hit him. Uh, come on. Slightly. Slightly. Damn. Well, we'll get him next time. <laughs> Meanwhile, this dude's just gonna stand here in the middle of the field. Oh, you have one more. You have one more. That's fine, then. Oh, I can just go back, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So you can have characters move more than once per turn if you have enough of the uh, command points. See, that's a difference, then, from other ones where it's like, oh, this character moved that turn, then they're done, <laughs> right? She just said, so this is war. It's not all fun and games. <laughs> oh, it's just... I love how they take such ideas as war. Well, even in like looking at the new Fire Emblem, it's like, oh man, we're students and we're having fun. Then we have to go to war, but it's fine because we're That's students and we're having up. fun. This one's all yours, Claude. Hell yeah, tank action. I gotta say, this is a lot more engaging than the tutorial in uh, the first Valkyria Chronicles. I mean, after four games, they have to, you know, somewhat make it better for, again, the veterans who can hop in and they don't have to do like a four hour tutorial on how to play it. Destroy the enemy tank. Hell yeah, let's do this shit. What is your favorite fictional tank? Um, it'll have to be a Metal Gear of some sort, because I can't name any others. See, for me, I still love everything about the Metal Slug. Yeah, you know what, let's go with that. How, how it animates and how it like moves like a living thing, and oh, it's so good. Alright, let's destroy these objects on the map. They cannot fit into narrow passages, so just use infantry for those, idiot. Now that's a coward's attitude. A tank can go where it wants. Uh, yeah, end the phase. It's alright, the tank will come next time. Oh no! Oh no! Nico, no! Nico, Nico, no! 
<laughs> She's trying her best. Oh, Jesus. We're fine. Minimal damage. Ooh, they missed. Oh, no, they went for your tank. Yeah, they were aiming for the tank. It's fine. Ooh, lordy. Alrighty. Okay. Let's do this shit. Yay! I'm driver over everything. I don't give a fuck. I've actually driven in a tank before, and let me tell you, it is not as cool as you'd think because uh, they don't, you don't see anything inside of them. So it's kind <laughs> of, it's kind of really boring when you're in them. All right, we got armor piercing mortar and a mounted machine gun. Uh, armor piercing shells are effective against tanks, so we'll go with those. Ah, a whole lot of text. Okie dokie. Hmm. Uh, da da da. Machine gun. Yeah, the AP rounds. I will aim for the gun. Fire. Booyah. Is that it? Can I attack again? Nope, but I can end my turn. And I'll just go right back to it! Yeah, just give give it all to the tank. Oh, there's weak points. This is good to know. This would have been better to know before we switch weapons. Oh. Yep. I was uh, remembering the blue radiator. Looks like something out of Breath of the Wild. A little bit. I will never not associate anything glowing in blue with, you know, with anything but Breath of the Wild now. Alrighty. What weapon should we use on this, good sir? I still say the AP round. Motherfucker got ganked! Yes! <laughs> I can't do tutorials! Meanwhile, you just see the people back at the research division, they're like, Maybe we should cover that blue plate. <laughs> Maybe so. Else it's like the final boss is just a tank where they covered it up. Like, <laughs> how, how do we get past its impenetrable weakness? Oh, massacre! Oh, massacre! <laughs> Claude knows what I'm... Claude sounds like Claude. He's an idiot, but not, I guess? Oh, the pretty flowers. I ran them over. Oh, whatever. At least we're alive. Oh, yeah. They didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Meanwhile, he goes up and like, These flowers represent our fallen comrades. <laughs> no, we're actually all alive, Claude. None of us died. Nico was there in front of a tank and she's fine. Yeah. Thankfully, the tank was aiming for our tank, so, you know. Ooh, that's a line. Do you think toxic masculinity can bloom on the battlefield? <laughs> Maybe. But what matters is that their hearts... No, no. I can see Kingdom Hearts from where I'm sitting. <laughs> I'm not recording that right now. All right, I get it. <laughs> then Raz power starts the talking heart about heart darkness. Heart. Mm, darkness, darkness, power of the heart. Look, just go turn in your report already, will you? You ready for exciting cutscenes of philosophy and warfare? Because that's what's coming, Tana. Well, it sounds like Raz just wants to go get drunk. Mm -hmm. Can't blame him, honestly. Top lad. Like me war, like me booze. Simple as. And then the fucking M's from uh, Wind Waker start coming down the battlefield. Da 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 da. No, it's it's got to be the little ones from a uh, Wind Waker, the small ones, the mini blooms. Just going, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fucking mini blends. They had a name. Those are the best. Those are the best. That's me. I posed specifically to take a photo here. <laughs> Just someone came up, we need to take a really nice photo of you for the book, for book mode. Uh, discover the untold history of the Second European War by viewing this chronicle. Uh, uh, no, no, European War. Ah, okay. They make it sure it's not Europe, it's European. Okay, I'm not sure if I'll be going back to this after the fact, but I'll just save anyway, it's fine. Beautiful. The clock keeps ticking, and so do we, Tanner. So do we. But war. War never stops. War never changes. Uh, hmm. I'll go with this one. It looks fancy. I think we'll finish the prologue and that'll do it. Yeah, for sure. So you, uh, you feeling any more comfortable with the genre yet, mate? Actually, watching this, it's I'm very interested now. I'm looking at this going like, yeah, this is... This looks to fill that niche of, you know, a little bit of strategy like Fire Emblem, but modernizing it and making it a bit more wartime, it's cool. 
Fire Emblem Free Houses does look fun. I'm just not particularly sold on the whole fucking school aspect yet, but uh, whatever. See, I love horrible anime high school shenanigans, but I'm just really, really worried for when they reveal it's like, oh, you the teacher can marry and have kids with the students because it's going to happen. And that's going to have a bit of a backlash in the West, I'm sure. A bit? Fucking hell, you might as well call the game Fire Emblem Bible Black. <laughs> it's normal in Japan, but not here. No, it's not normal anywhere, I don't think. Also, what's this bitch from Naruto doing here? Get back to the... See, actually, it's weird because she looks the exact same and is named after a character in Fire Emblem. It's a bit weird. Yes, sir. Three months have passed. Uh, three months. Uh, uh, wow, they're they're just obliterating us. They have all the mix-ups, you know. They come in. They do wake up DPS on us. Oh, sorry. I just had a flashback to the fucking Crime Time episode of um. What the hell was that thing? I think it was The Sopranos. <laughs> Honestly, my favorite aspect of humor is just taking anything and adding in fighting game terminology to it. Oh, make sure to show him all his sins. Shungoku Satsu, right there. Charge my ultra? Breathless. Breathless on this motherfucker. Oh, we'll never have another crime time, it's kind of sad. Oh yeah, see, it's Europa, not Europe. Change one letter, and it's a totally different place. Ah, I see. America. America is with us in this war. We can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. War, war, war. War, war, guns. Guns, guns, bullets. War is bad, but war also good? <laughs> Question mark? That's a fucking newspaper headline. Alright, I might just like start skipping through this to be honest, because they're just saying what you you think they'll be saying. So we gotta break through the defenses in one fell swoop, because that's all we have the materials for. Voice acting isn't bad so far. I know you can't hear a lick of this, Tanner, but you can see the sweet visuals, so that's all that matters. I know some people really hate uh, talking head portraits for dialogue, but honestly, I, I, I don't find it anything bad, especially if they put the animations in for it, but I know some people would much rather this be characters standing around talking. I mean, it is characters standing around talking. It's modeled with the proper backgrounds and everything. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. It actually... Wow, huh. If anything, this is just a more efficient way than wasting a budget on a cutscene. Alright, so let's see. Who do we got here? Um, Max Middleman voices Claude. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the voice of uh, Ryuji. Also, yeah, Japan. Um, Ryuji from uh, Persona. Um, Greg Chun is Raz. That's interesting. That's the voice of Ike from Fire Emblem, and he doesn't do many roles. Sneak? Really? Sneak? The United Kingdom of Edinburgh. <laughs> oh, yes, I live in Appledore. So I do. Pip Pip Cheerio. As the Empire. Oh man, this is great. It's like just West, slightly changed to make it so that no, it's not the same. It's a different world. I swear to God, if the final boss is Hitler in a tank mech with sunglasses. <laughs> oh, I could make jokes about what Ragnite actually represents. With its overwhelming military might. The Empire captured one nation okay, but if another, war was fought with giant lances like that, it'd be way cooler. I, I'd probably be more into war, yeah. If there was more, like, melee weapon classes in actual war, I'd be like, war's okay. <laughs> but also good? But also <laughs> bad. This top secret, no one can read this. It's just blank. <laughs> What's the plan? Uh -oh. I mean, part of war is like sub subterfuge and trickery. So if you create intel with the purpose of tricking the enemy, you've already won. Just create a book saying we surrender and be like, Oh no, I dropped my book over on enemy lines. And they're like, Oh, I'll just bend down and pick it up, giving our snipers perfect opportunity to place a bullet right up my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, command all according to plan. Soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. 
We won't show you any of them, because honestly, they're faceless assholes that signed up for glory, and they deserve to die. Yeah, you, you, it really sucks when you're born without a face and you go to war, because you know you'll die. Is that fucking Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Looks a bit like it. Can't get away from it. It's just looming over us until we go back to it. This is actually the prequel to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Well, how about that? Or the, well, the prequel to the prequel DLC. Oh, it showed the title thing. Does that mean the prologue's over? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got a lot more gameplay in the uh, the fucking first uh, quick look. Ah, beautiful. Yes, so. There we go. Well, I said I'd do the prologue, so. A new episode has been added. Well, guys, you get what you pay for, I suppose. And that was still uh, 20 to uh, 30 minutes. Let's see what Minerva has to say, first and foremost. Oh, do we just have a medal? Yeah. I was hoping... I You have a medal. Boo-doo! You got a, pl a PlayStation trophy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Meritorious Service Medal awarded. Is that for doing good, being a good boy? God, the tutorials are not ending. Equipping is... Uh, 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 never a stop to them. Uh, try a few of them on for size. Ah, the tank accessory. Not gonna lie, this one's a bit heavy. Well, uh, that really was a quick look and whatnot, guys. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's really nice to be back doing quick looks and whatnot, especially when they're as nippy as this, you know what I'm saying? War is hell, mm -hmm. but also good? Here's all the people that are currently pledged and helping to support HFC. If you want to be one of them, go ahead and click the pledge button on patreon.com forward slash hellfire columns. There are many different tiers, but you can make one of them yours. And uh, the higher up the uh, the price chain you go, the better the perks get, including the ability to commission your own quick looks or TV comms on a variety of stuff. Pick the one that's right for you, and uh, thank you very much for your support. And uh, thank you, Gino Dude, for commissioning this. We'll see you guys next time for another HFC Patreon quick look. Bye-bye. Ciao.